guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to uh, create uh, some uh, moose alouettes. Now, I've seen many YouTubers uh, do this and they look very tasty to me. Uh, people like Chuck Porter, William Larkin, they've all made these uh, alouettes, uh, different, uh, different recipes. Um, so I'm gonna make my version of it today. And uh, thanks to Chuck and William for, uh, for the heads up. Uh, they look delicious as I've never tried these before in my life so this is going to be something new for us. Today I got a little bit of a slight difference than what uh, people would use. I got some turkey bacon instead of uh, real bacon. So we'll get some turkey bacon. I got some moose fry here. I'm going to cut that up and uh, we'll get started. So uh, I know it's going to be good. Never had it before. Looking forward to it. So stay tuned. Now, uh, different people cut it up differently. Hey, some people get uh, use uh, strips uh, and some people use pieces. Uh, I'm just going to cut this up in thin strips like I've seen others do and uh, we'll use that as the basis. So uh, for today uh, I'm going to spice this up once it gets cut up and uh, should be good. some turkey bacon here. Oh, it's gonna be good guys. Not sure if it's as good as real, regular bacon, but uh, we're gonna give it a try. Gotta roll these up so that all fit on the pan now in a second when I'm ready. So guys, I've seen many people use different spices uh, on their alouettes, uh, the, the videos I've watched. Uh, a lot of people use uh, steak spice or Montreal steak spice, uh, garlic, onion powder, that type of thing. I'm gonna use steak spice today, plus some garlic powder, but I'm also gonna try something different. We like curry, so I'm gonna try a little bit of curry powder on some of them, see if that, uh, see if that, see what that tastes like. Um, like I said, different stuff. That's what I'm all about. We try different things, try different stuff, and uh, so we're gonna try curry on Alouettes. Don't know if anybody's done it before, haven't seen it, but uh, we're gonna go for it. So, a little bit of steak spice on each one. And I won't do all curry, I'll do just half, half of them with curry. Just in case, if you don't like it, I don't know if you can't see that's gonna happen, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Curry on this side. And big garlic. Ooh, too much. So I'll do half already. So I got my toothpicks ready. Just roll these up. Like so. Get some toothpicks. First alouette. It smells good. It's gonna, this picture is gonna be good. So let's just roll these up. Okay, guys, I got them all made up. Had some extra pieces of uh, turkey bacon left over, so I just rolled those up on there just to treat and send itself. Ones on the back, these five are all the curry ones. Regular other ones are just uh, Montreal steak spice and garlic sauce. Uh, not garlic, garlic powder, sorry. So, set the bake 350, start. Uh, let the oven warm up and we'll put them in and uh, keep an eye on them. I'm still just not quite sure how long we'll cook them. I have been told that uh, you cook them once the bacon is cooked, the, uh, the meat is cooked. Now this is turkey bacon, it might cook a little faster, so I'll keep an eye on it and uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you know when it's done. Should be good. I'm gonna do a quick check here, guys, now just to see what's going on. Oh, hot in here. Didn't work very well. Oh yeah, it's coming. Starting to cook, starting to cook up there. I'll let her go. Well, folks, I think they're done. 
I'm going to give them a chance to cool off a little bit, get some sides on the go, and uh, we'll do a taste test. Well, guys, looks like it's turned out fantastic. Going to enjoy this now with a cold one, and it uh, should be great. I got a couple curry ones there, a couple regular ones, a few fries, asparagus, good to go. Talk to you later. Thank you.